Hey everyone, this is John Martino, and today we're going to be talking about Mandiant's Redline. Redline is a tool that can be used to locate indicators of nefarious activities found on a system's memory and file system. Uh, it creates a threat profile based on the system being analyzed. Uh, it is a free tool. Um, you just download it from Mandiant's website, as you can see here. Now, Redline is a two-part forensics tool. It has the ability to audit a computer as well as analyze the information being captured. It has a possibility to capture the system memory, file structure, and currently running processes. Uh, Redline's main features are creating indicators of compromise, which is a feature that matches files with known vulnerabilities. Uh, it has a malware risk index which ranks processes and services by level of compromise, and it utilizes an MD5 hash comparison to whitelist programs to expedite the collection and analysis process. So what this does is takes the basic programs that come uh, native on a Windows system and creates an MD5 hash for each of these, uh, these programs and files, and then compares those to what is on your computer and if they match obviously it is is whitelisted um, because as you know if you change one bit in a file or program it completely changes the MD5 hash value. Now the reason I call this a two-part forensics tool is because of these two options here. Uh, you can create a standard collector, which is what Redline needs to create just the basic analysis collector. Um, we have the option to create a comprehensive collector, which is what we're doing today. This allows us to choose all the data being captured, and we can also create an IOC search collector, which uh, configures a package which will only collect data for indicators of compromise. The second part of this tool allows us to analyze data once it is captured. Um, we can capture from a saved memory file, which you can actually obtain from different programs, such as Dumpit, and uh, you can open up a previous analysis. Now today what we are going to be doing is creating a comprehensive collector. So we would select this and you want to acquire uh, the memory image so you will be able to see what the computer had running uh, regarding you know drivers uh, processes and services you can actually edit the script to select what all you want to capture such as uh, things in the memory um, the file structure uh, of the hard drives the system information such as the operating system and product identifier and then you can also capture what uh, was coming in through the network such as like cookies and browser history and stuff like that so once you have everything you want selected you just click OK and then you want to choose the directory which you will copy your collector to now it recommends that you copy this to a USB thumb drive or a device that is not directly installed inside the computer. So we have a, an empty directory right here, which we will select to copy the collector to. So you select the folder and then click OK. This will create the collector. And then once that is completed, you go to your device, open the file, and you will want to run the redline audit bat file. Now, this can take anywhere from 30 minutes to about four hours depending on uh, what information you're wanting to collect so I am going to edit the weight out obviously and all right now that we have the collector loaded we can actually start to analyze our data um, as you can see this is uh, this collector is not from my computer it's actually from my wife's um, because that was a clean install um, as you can see in the analysis data window, you can actually look through all the areas of the system, um, such as system information, which lists, you know, the, the processor type, the type of operating system, how many gigs of RAM the computer had while it was collecting 
Uh, there's obviously a couple probably edit out. Uh, but we're going to go to the main reason why people use this program. So we can analyze the running processes and I will uh, full screen this to make it easier to see. Um, as you can see, you can look at all the processes running on the computer at the time of collection. Um, and currently we have them sorted by malware risk index score. Um, and you can actually go into each process, such as we will choose MSI Afterburner, to get a uh, report, uh, all the details on the program. So you can see where the program is housed. Um, you can actually look at the malware risk index report, which tells you how many um, sections have negative factors versus positive factors. Um, I know that this program is good, so I could actually go through here and trust all the, uh, all the negative factors so they wouldn't show up. Um, you can look at the handles to see which are undetermined, which are trusted, uh, such as these, and untrusted. And you can go through each one and make sure there's nothing nefarious going on. Um, you can go through and see what network events. Obviously, this, this program doesn't access the network, so there's nothing under here. Um, you can see uh, when it uh, edited uh, or made registry edits. So we can go back to processes and you can go through here and you would obviously want to focus more on um, processes that include higher MRI scores, but you don't solely want to base your analysis on that. So you're pretty much going to have to pay attention to, to every little bit. but. Once you uh, get the hang of it, it actually all becomes pretty uh, pretty easy to navigate through and see if, if something has gone awry in your system or if something has been placed there that uh, you did not authorize. This has been a basic uh, tutorial on how to use Mandiant's Redline. Thank you.